into position. All ball boys. Get in your position, boys. We're about to begin the final quarter of the ISL versus the MISL. We have the fourth and final quarter kicking off here at the National Sports Center, the fifth match of the day that Bo Mittermeier and yours truly have uh, been able to bring to you. But this is the big one, ISL versus the MISL. And the fourth quarter getting underway with the MISL leading six goals to two, Paul. I think the ISL guys on life support right now, they need something to really give them a spark here. Maybe get some, something going here in the fourth quarter. We'll see, what, we'll see if that happens or not. Good ball, Logan Alexander in front, and Jason Lee can't finish. Oh, good chance there. Great give and go that time by the ISL guy. I like what I'm seeing uh, for the first minute here of yeah. the fourth. I saw four players on the move, hungry, attacking there, as if to say, look, we're trailing by four. Well, what's the difference if we lose by four or lose by eight? Let's get some goals here. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's push forward. Let's see what we can do. This one from Sequoia Robinson goes too far. And uh, the MISL survives the rush by the ISL. So it'll be a goalkeeper distribution here for Sagu. And I will say this, too. You know, we saw Jason Lee in the regular season. We've seen his ability to score quickly. You get some rhythm, you get a little confidence, and you never know what can happen. Oh. Those kind of things you can't have, though. Just an errant pass, and good defense. Joseph Butterfield gets the ball back for the ISL guy, so good job there. Is that Hollis being stripped? Yeah, Hollis gets Shane stripped by Gibson. And who's going to make him pay for it? Oh, oh well done. Great save. The Cardinho up our side and was denied by Johnson. Good play up ahead, but great hustle that time by Asadpour to get back. Into the play. The other thing you see from the MISL guys, always moving, always moving their feet, never stopping. And that's the key. Good play here. Another John chance. Barry. Another save by Johnson. Wow. He's really, he's really. Uh, Here's a great chance now. The last two seasons. Lee. Lee. Can he get a shot in? Oh, the foul. Well, Jason Lee just left Assad for in the dust. The only thing that Fahid could do was foul. And a good restart chance here for the ISL. Oh, Dickinson mm. takes a deflection corner. So right now the results aren't there, but you gotta like the effort right now. <coughs> Kevin, <coughs> Kevin, so Kevin Lamb. Lamb puts it up into the well over the bar. Yep. Mm, the long jump pit. Comes the boys in blue, the big blue machine. Alvarez who finally got it on the score sheet. The end of the third quarter. You see Michelle Millwood, and Millwood's no stranger to this field, Mike, as he, he's been down here before with the Crystal Palace team in Baltimore playing the Hawks. So Millwood's played on this field a couple of times. Novi, short to Gibson. It's around basketball. Novi not on the same page that time. Approaching 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes remaining in this fourth and final quarter. 
Baskin inside to Aberdeen. Dickinson. Oh, gives it away. Novi. Being pressured by Jerron Dickinson. Little bit of uh, pulling on the shirt there. Jerron really still going at it with him. Still playing hard here in the fourth quarter. Dickinson got the goal earlier in the second quarter that made it 4-1 and got the ISL on the board. That was a big goal to kind of calm the nerves and uh, get him back into the game. Kick it far side. Still MISL six, ISL two. Greenfield bends off Everdeen. Butterfield Lamb sprints off. Will be replaced. Looks like Logan Alexander and Ralph Bean Jr. coming on. Clay Darrell, Aberdeen, Ralph Bean. He'll have one. Oh, calm, cool, straight into the hands. Didn't move an inch. Now Ralph made it easy for Tagu there. Didn't make a move, and now the MISL chance here on the counter. That's the one thing. If you have to watch with a guy like Sagu, if you you're not accurate and you make it an easy save, he can hurt you on the other end. Here's a quick steal now. Good recovery by Alexander to uh, save an opportunity there. Daniel, Daniel Johnson continues to play well for the ISL. It's a nice play by the ball boy, too, on the side. <laughs> I want to take a minute there. Now that I mentioned that, I want to take a minute to thank all the youngsters that came out this year and helped out with the ISL. Give up their time to uh, mark the fields and help us make this game work. A quick back heel there by Daryl, but uh, it's a risky proposition. That's a one in 100 chance there to make a play. Probably would have been better to settle there and try to set up an opportunity. Oh, straight to. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. I think that goes to Clay. Absolutely. So, Coy Robinson sets it up, and Clay Darrell gets on the board. Eight minutes. Eighth minute. Seventh. Seventh minute. You're always, you're always one minute ahead, everybody. <laughs> Is that? I think that's a good thing. That's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> Gibson chipping long, looking for Millwood. Oh! Good save. Corner. That goal. Gets the 6 3. Now it's 6.40 left, Mike. I think the, the next goal is the big one here. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, Lee down there. It's two on two. Still two on two. Lee. Oh, big save by Sagu. Here's Everton now on Johnson, and he makes the save. Rebound. Shot and a goal. Now Everton, great skill there as he didn't give up on the play. Was denied the first time by Johnson, but was able to finish on the second try. Seven three MISL, and that may be the one that's that's all she wrote. Puts it away, yeah. Pass up ahead by Johnson. Hollis settles now, back for Alexander. I mean, we gotta start thinking about an MVP right now. Of course, Ricardinho had a couple of goals early on. 
Jonathan Greenfield involved early. I'm starved right now, so I'll have to say Sagu. Can't disagree with you. He's been tremendous here tonight. Ooh, Everton got away with that. No, the up. whistle. Whistle, late whistle. Two man wall. So we go under five minutes. Movie. Just enough to get it away from Jason Lee. Turnover now, though. Here's Ian Coke. Finds Lee up ahead. Oh, off the post the second, second time. Second time tonight. You just see the athleticism, though, from Jason Lee. Doesn't back down from any of the guys. Oh, great pass here for Alvarez, and he scores. Byron Alvarez on a great pass. We are now up the wing. We're right at we were last year, right? Yeah, but still 345 on the clock. Mm. How fast things can turn in this game. Jason Lee on one end hits the post. Four passes later, Byron Alvarez finishes on the other end. Just like that. Oh, what a move by Gibson there. Slipping all body check right in front of the official. Kevin Lamb getting physical there with Leo Gibson. Still like the spirit of the ISL guys. Nice spin move. Good hustle by Lamb to knock that away. Corner. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alvarez, I guess that hat trick for him? That's the hat trick, the first hat trick of the game. Wow, and the last two goals and three of the last five that have been scored in the game. So we've had two hat tricks today. Correct. Yeah. Was it uh, somebody Smith, Onik Oniki Smith, or something like that? Yeah, I have my notes somewhere here. Hold on. It was that. Uh, was Oniko under, Low. Uh, on, on, Oniko Low. Yes. Yes. Oniko Low. In the under twelve game. Yes. And now Alvarez, Byron Alvarez, second hat trick of the day. Under two minutes now remaining. And it's now 9-3 MISL. On course for a third consecutive win. This is the Clash on the Rock 3. Another great save by Daniel Johnson. <clears throat> Dickinson going long. Looking for Secoy, I believe. Robinson, but in front of him just over a minute left Paul we have a presence yeah, I'm gonna be in, I'm gonna be able to sleep in tonight or tomorrow morning <laughs> Not to worry about being out on <laughs> out in Hamilton with Johnny Barnes I'm, I'm safe you're safe there nice ball here from Greenfield here's Newsom again shoot it wide we're under a minute by Logan Alexander. Give me a corner kick here for the MISL. Under 30 seconds to go. Mm -hmm.
And that'll do it. Two seconds, one second, that'll do it. And an impressive 9-3 victory for the MISL. I said 10, okay. <laughs> Here we have the commissioner real quick. Commissioner David Bascom just witnessed uh, Byron Alvarez with a head trick and the MISL coming away with a 9-3 win. Are you asking me? Are you asking <laughs> <laughs> You have it's, been busy. It's, it's, yeah, you yeah, have I'm, been. I'm, you know, but I'll tell you what, you know, what's been great is that, you know, you can see the difference. You can see where, you know, the growth from where we have to go, you know, with the ISL, with the players. Uh, you know, that's one, one big difference is that catching these guys, the MISL, you know, in the off season, And, you know, there's a whole kind of, you know, appreciation for the game. You know, this is where you understand the difference between what we're trying to get to. And you get to see where we need to go. I'm with MISL head coach Danny Kelly after the MISL's 9-3 victory over the Lindos ISL tonight. Danny, a real good effort from your team. Great defense and goalkeeping early from Sagu and then Byron Alvarez with the goals at the end to, to clinch it. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we got out to a good start, scored, I think, the first minute of the play. Um, you know, we played well. We created a lot of opportunities. Uh, Sagu came up big when we needed him to. Uh, Leo Gibson had a big block early in the game as well. And, uh, and, you know, we found our rhythm. But, you know, credit to the ISL guys. They played hard. They came at us. Uh, and they created – they hit the post a number of times. The game uh, – I don't think the score of the game was indicative of the game itself. I thought they played real well. And, uh, you know, we were fortunate to finish our chances. We saw the Kappa All-Stars on the field during halftime with the youth here in Bermuda. What does this mean this whole weekend when you guys come down here and give your time from the States to the island of Bermuda and to the youth of Bermuda? I think it's just awesome. You know, guys come out. Uh, you know, we had lunch with the kids today. We had dinner with them last night. All the guys were rapping with the kids, hanging out, talking. They were over here before the game, having a good time, juggling with the guys. I mean, we love coming here. We love uh, hanging out with the kids and, and uh, you know, with Hope for Life, getting with the youth here and uh, and trying to show them there is a way, an opportunity for them to, to further their lives, further, further their lives with the game of soccer. Thanks, Danny. Thanks a lot. A 9-3 victory for the MISL over the ISL here at the Lindos ISL 2011 All-Star Game. For Fox Soccer Report, I'm Paul Mittermeier. With John Barry Newsom after the MISL's 9-3 victory over the ISL here tonight. John Barry, congratulations on the goal tonight. Thank you. you guys played well, but I thought the ISL guys really brought it to tonight. They did, and you could tell the level in Bermuda stepping up. Um, I know the first half we got on them early, and that kind of changed the momentum of the game, but they kept it right where it was the whole game for the rest of the three quarters. It's tough for you because you're the coach of the Arsenal here on during the ISL's regular season. You played against these guys. Tell me about playing against your guys like Sequoia Robinson and, and Ralph and what that was like tonight. I, I just got to show them that the coaches still got it, that's all. <laughs> so then they know, know what I'm talking about when I'm actually putting it on access and this. And it's fun, though. It's all fun. All these guys are my friends, so it's fun to just come over and play. The thing that impressed me the most, and we've seen this before, these guys battled you guys for 60 minutes. When, you know, they were down. They didn't quit. They came right at you. They were very physical with you guys. And when you got physical with them, they didn't back down at all tonight. Yeah, well, I mean, that's part of the game. And, and all these guys know that playing football in general, that it's going to be a physical game. But the good thing is that every every season of the ISL that I've seen so far, it gets better and better. As, and, and that's all we can do is keep the game growing. I know the fans of Bermuda want to know what's next for John Barry. Are you going to start playing again? What are you thinking? Is the knee healed? And what's going to happen with you now? The knee is healed, but I'm just staying in shape. I'm, I'm not. We'll see what happens. I'm not thinking on that turn right now. Um, let me see what happens. John Barry, congratulations on the championship this year with the Arsenal. Congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. John Barry Newsom here with us after the MISL's 9-3 victory over the ISL.